It's time now for the Friend Zone, where we invite one of our friends from within the building here at Fox in New York or in D.C., for example. Tonight, we're joined by the great Shannon Bream. And Shannon, since you're about the skinniest person I know, we know that unlike the rest of us, losing a few pounds is never your resolution. But your husband tricked you into a big resolution, didn't he? Well, here's the thing. Mr. Bream does not believe in resolutions. He, there he is. Um, you can see, too, he, you know, he's got a hollow leg. He eats everything he wants to and works out. Uh, but he decided one year in December, going into the next year, he would have the goal of running a marathon. Mm. And I thought, that is awesome. He was a college athlete. I had no doubt that he would be able to do this. Um, and so I'm thinking about my plan of like, I'm gonna have little posters and signs along the <laughs> way, I'm gonna have like t-shirt. I'm coming up with like the logo and the color scheme in my head. And he's like, oh no, we're gonna run this together. And I'm oh. thinking, I can't even run down the block. This is crazy. <laughs> so somehow I got roped into his non-resolution goal for the new year. And five months later, we ran the Pittsburgh Marathon. Together. We, oh yeah, and listen, the deal was, I will only do this if you stay at my pace. And I had all kinds of sneaky plans to back out all <laughs> along the way. But we got this book that was sort of like an idiot's guide to running a marathon. I promise you it might have been that title. And one of the first things it said was you have to pick a race, sign up for it, and send in your money. <laughs> so I felt bad about sending in the $35 because I'm like, I'm definitely quitting this at some <laughs> point. But then it also said you have to tell everybody you know. So we would be in the grocery store, like in the checkout counter at the line, and my husband would be like, by the way, we are running the Pittsburgh Marathon this year. <laughs> And so we got totally roped into doing it, and I never sort of backed out, but, you know, I lost my toenails, <laughs> I lost my temper a few times, but somehow we got across that line. I would have loved to have seen the secret plans for Shannon to oh. get away from the marathon. That would have been a scandal, Shannon sneaking away from the marathon. That's I awesome. tried, but here's the thing, too, is that towards the end of your running, you really are doing these long runs the last couple of weeks, like 18 miles, yeah. 20 miles which literally I couldn't run a mile when we started this thing. It was sheer willpower and lots of prayers. Um, but I was also under the concept, you know, misconception that after those long runs, you could sit in the tub for the rest <laughs> of the day and just sort of eat sleeves of Oreos. So I end up being the only idiot you will ever know who actually gained weight uh -huh. while, try while training for a marathon. <laughs> So there's there there's one picture of me crossing the finish line, and, and I look us. like the Stay Puft Marshmallow <laughs> Man. I'm like, will not ever show anybody, but I did finish the marathon. So quick I've got the medal to prove it. I love it, and congratulations on that. Um, quick <laughs> change you. of topic here, which is you've got one of those sort of Christmas birthdays. I understand it's a couple I days. Do. Is that a, mm -hmm. a blessing or a curse? Because you know the you presents know are combined and all that. I loved it. I'm born on the 23rd, and I think my, my parents took me home on Christmas Day. My middle name was Noel because we had sort of a holiday theme going on. I never knew anything differently, so I love it, and everybody really does try to make an effort of, like, separate wrapping paper for birthday and Christmas, and it's still, I think, such an exciting festive time, but here's the thing. I've got a brother who's the day after Christmas. Oh Hi, Pete. <laughs> and I always felt like that was tougher because everybody's already, like, in a food coma, and the presents are over, and they're sort of... The buildup is over, but he's got the birthday after Christmas, too, so we have a lot of celebrating in December. Last question, the big question for Shannon Bream. Will you uh -uh. ever run another marathon? <laughs> I'm one and done. <laughs> Listen, that was on my husband's bucket list. We're now over to my bucket list, which doesn't involve any more running of marathons. Um, I do still run, but never, I don't think, 26.2 again. Retired. Well, congratulations on doing it. Happy New Year to you. you and too. Mr. Bream has a name, Sheldon. So we want to say Mr. Happy Sheldon New Year to him. Bream. He's a great guy. And to too. you too, Ed. Thanks. Appreciate it.